Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at how to create this sort of jittery wobbly effect on the side of your typography or your graphics or images or whatever but it's basically adding a displacement map in After Effects and allowing your graphic to interact with it. It's really simple and really easy to do but it just adds a bit of movement to your static typography and a little bit of personality. So an example of where I've used this is in a recent project with a client where we had some animations that I created and I wanted a little bit more movement in my typography and the sort of intro and outro cards and the text going on the image so I'll show you on screen here what I mean But yeah, I thought it worked really well with this animation and yeah, it's a very easy thing to do as I mentioned So I thought I'd share it with you today and uh, hopefully you can implement that in your next project or you find it useful and um yeah. Right then, so we've opened up After Effects and it's time to create a new composition. I'm just gonna create for the purposes of this just a 1920 by 1080 composition, just 10 seconds along with a black background. Just as an example for you guys, so press OK. So we now wanna import the graphics or text or whatever we wanna add this effect to. I'm just gonna do it on some text, but at this point, if you wanted to do it to a logo or to a graphic or anything like that, you can import that in here. But I'm just gonna write some text. I'm just gonna do a little City Soda Club. And I'm going to make this bigger and make it central. So the first thing we're going to do is just go to right click on this panel here, go new, solid. And we just want to create a solid layer just that we can edit. It doesn't really matter what color it is. Red is fine, whatever color is fine because we're going to add a texture over the top of this. Make whatever color and press OK. Now we're going to want to go up to effects. We can just search in here fractal and we want to go to noise and grain at fractal noise down here. And we can just click on that and drag that onto our layer, onto this name bit here on the layers panel. As you can see, it generates this sort of weird grainy cloud sort of effect. Basically what this is doing is just creating a random fractal noise texture over the top of that layer that we just created. So we can leave it like this. And what we're going to want to do is go to the little drop down here, drop it down, go to effects, drop that down. Factor noise, drop that down. Go down to evolution options and drop that down. And then we're gonna to wanna to go to random seed here. And where the little stopwatch is, if you press option on your keyboard and then press the little stopwatch, it will bring up a little code text over here, a little place where you can paste in your code and basically add in code to manipulate whatever you're doing. So we're gonna type in time and then a little asterisk 10. And when we press play now, the background is moving. And you can say it's doing this weird jittery stuff. It's going a bit crazy really cool so what we're going to do now is basically use this top layer as a displacement map now if you watch my other videos on my channel we've used a lot of displacement maps in the past and what we're going to be doing is exactly the same thing as with what we do in photoshop but in after effects and it's going to be moving so we can actually hide this top layer here so go to little eye hide that and go to our effects again and type in displacement map displacement map is here we can drag that down onto our city soda club layer or your graphic layer whatever make sure it's on that now we'll have this new little box that pops up that has uh, some options for the displacement map. What we wanna do is we wanna make sure we change the displacement map layer to this medium gray red solid, whatever it is, whatever it is that you created, that, that first layer, whatever color, that is gonna be the displacement map. And then the source, we wanna set that as effects and masks. Now, once you've clicked on that, it's done the effect for you. So when you go to the start of your composition and press play, it's gonna apply this cool little jittery text effect to the side of your text. It looks really nice and really good. Now, you can change this as much as you want. You can change the time back where we dropped in that code. The quicker it is, the more, the higher the number is, the quicker it's going to jitter. Now, we can also click back on our medium gray layer and we can lower the opacity if we want to like not have as much jitter on the side of our text. If we lower it, you can see it's just not as obvious. It's a little bit sort of subtle, which is also quite cool, but I want mine to be quite in your face going on like this. So if you go up to the fractal type up here, you can actually change the shapes or the texture that's been created. So we can actually re-see what our texture layer is over here. So just make sure the eye is clicked back on. We can actually change this to so many different things. So threads, and then if we turn it off again, press play, it's a different texture. It has a different, you know, this side is a lot more jittery and a lot more bumpy. You can really play with these different textures, like some are cloudy, some are, you know, a bit more distorted. So when you play it like this, it's a little bit more glitchy looking, pretty cool. But it sort of gives the illusion of like a comic book effect or the intro to a, like an old film or something like that. But, but yeah, you can obviously now just export this and drop this in to any sort of uh, video that you're putting together or over the top of any other graphics. But you can actually export this as a transparent video and make that as a a sticker or something like a gif or whatever on instagram but yeah it's very very simple very easy to do but it's something that i've used recently with my clients so i thought i'd share it with you guys hopefully you can follow along at home and, and use this in your next project 
But yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Very simple and easy to do. Hopefully, you guys can use this in a project that's coming up. Add a little bit more motion into something that's quite static. Maybe you can use it in a client project. I know a little bit of basic animation here and there can actually earn you a bit more money whenever working with a client, something new to offer them. This is the sort of thing that can be used in quite a wide scope of project. Like, it's so simple. But yeah, let me know down below if you found this useful or if you've got any ideas of what you're going to use this for. Thank you for watching. Uh, been very quick and efficient today. Um, and I'll see you again soon. So yeah, take care of yourself and uh, goodbye.